Um, this is where most everybody else would stop because they don't want to take a chance. Now I'm going to a pretty big egg butcher hog right here and The reason why, there's two reasons why most of, wow, look at that 45 degree seat. Y'all see what I'm looking at? Man, that's right there with the deck surface of the head. I mean, I got just a touch of a 30 before the deck surface eats it. That's how big that 2250 valve just eats that port up. <laughs> anyway, or 2300, excuse me, I haven't told him that yet. John, when you see this, you'll understand why I'm sorry. Um, but the 2300 valve is what we're using here. It was a mistake in the order and process, but you know what? I love 2300s anyway. I can make a lot better head with it. It was just a lot more work than what I intended on. But anyway, I'll start right here, and I notice I'm taking the egg, and I'm making it level right here. I'm not going there first. I got to pull the, the sharp point down. Now, once I get that level, I'm going to go back. Like I said, I, after I do that, I pull in the top, and I'm going to go here and bring it close, and that's as far as I can go with this big cutter because this is such a busher hog that it's going to jump up and down. I'll have to go to a much smaller, uh, much more control. See the blade difference? This right here is going to give me a lot better control and let me just pull that right in without worrying about coming across and touching that seat and then I'll finally hit it with the stump. But right now I just can't go fast because remember where we went to this 2-300 valve man we got to watch our meat. I am going to sonic it and let you all see how much meat's left when I'm done so you know what you're playing with. Okay, I've about got that pulled as much as what I want. Remember how much overhang was there? I just chopped it all down and pulled it right into that ridge. Now, what I was telling you earlier about there's a way you're going to be able to tell, well, this is it. Notice the carbide cut marks where it brought it back shiny, where I blended it. And right here, you're going to have a little bit of green. That's where I put the dicom in. Describe the line and put the 45 degree angle into it, okay? And just like I said, there's a 30, and man, it's just right there, barely on the edge, because of that 45 is just right there on the deck surface. It's barely got any of it showing. It's almost scary, but I did measure it. I've got 50,000, so I'm good to go. But, um, uh, Two three hundreds is absolutely the limit. I probably would have been a little bit better off with a two two fifty, but you know what? This is what I got, and that's what I went with because I want this thing to really kick gangbusters. He made a statement earlier. Well, I could have bought a brand new pair of of heads with the money I got invested in it. Uh, total amount of money he paid for all this work is eight hundred dollars. It was seven. Then I got another hundred for going back in here and doing this. But uh, while true, he could have got him a 290 dart Merlin. I promise you, these right here, even though they'll be a little bit less, will make more horsepower than that Merlin has ever thought about. I've already done this game. This one will beat the Merlin heads out of the box. All right, now, anyway, we're going to jump over here. I'm going to hit the exhaust. I'm going to let you see that. 
It's how on the exhaust that line is a lot closer to the 45 than what the intake was. That's because I don't need as much radius. I need to open this up some more because the exhaust, I need a little bit more work on it to catch up with all this to the intake. So the ratios between the two, like I said, I'm not going to go into the math on any of that on my YouTube videos at this point. One day I'm going to give it to y'all let you see exactly how this works, but once I've done that, the secret's over. Anyway, um, notice how the line right here is a lot closer. That is done for a reason. Instead of being out here further for a radius, it has to do with the, the flow numbers on the exhaust and radius them. But I will tell you this, there's a relationship from right here to the bowl on the radiuses on what you need more, less here, or more there, or more there, less here, or more here and less there. There's a ratio between the two. It has to do with cylinder evacuation at a given RPM with the application. Uh, to my knowledge, he's not spraying nitrous on this. He's not putting any forced induction in at this time, so this is what we're going with. All right, so I'm just going to go in here and pull that in right to the edge which uh, y'all can see I go in here once again I start at the sharpest point of tolerance make slow cut then I jump up here now, you might think, well, I'm going to go in here and cut all that bowl out. That's not true. I'm, I'm getting it down, but I'm going to leave a fillet or a radius right here. There's a reason I'm doing that. I thought I'd give you that. There will be a fillet. In other words, I'm just not going to grind it perfectly level to that line. There's going to be a shape to it that I blend and pull, so that way I can pull more numbers out of the exhaust. It's, it's, it's a dimension thing. So just don't think I'm going to grind level. When I'm grinding, and I'm pulling, I'm going to go up. I'm going to grab and put a certain amount of fillet or radius from that line up to the port. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get all the line stuff done and cut. We'll get back in a few minutes, and at that point, we'll make some measurements. Um, there is one thing I did want to do first before I start. Let me give you this. Using the snap as a go, no go gauge, this is the measurement I got. Look how I got just a touch of tug. Okay, see right there, I've got bigger area here, I come up here, I'm squeezing. Now see, if I did not go back in there and do this, then the measurement it would get would be right here. Now that's probably going to surprise you what that is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spread that out right now, but I'm just going to give you a comparison. This is the exhaust valve. This is the 188 valve. Okay? Dad, blame it, I got the board right behind it. Wouldn't you know it? All right, now, look how when I slide this valve, and by the way, you can take and cut different diameter valves for this. Look at how it lays in right there. Now, I'm going to throw some light on it for you so you can see something. All right. Now look at what you see here. See I got some gaps right here. This is important that you see this. Hold on. Look how we got a big open space right here. Yet over here it's almost touching perfectly full. I got a little bit of a gap here. What this does, this gives you in a way a template to get your roundness. You can actually use valves cut to specific diameters. But look how it, you know, I'm coming there. It'll just barely clear. When I get through with this, we're going to go back and remember right there, I'm at um, probably uh, 400 thousandths down from the seat. Look how it's just touching. I have to actually tug just to touch to get it past that point. When I get through with this, we'll take this same valve and you're going to get the picture of how much was cut out of this after I've done the initial bolt port. There's a reason. You want to try to get this consistency 
perfectly round as you can to the short turn and some of these it's just too hard to do if you try it you're going to bust through but you can use different diameters to go okay where can I see light I got light shining through I got a touch of a gap right here I got a touch of a gap right here sometimes you can balance it sometimes you can't but this is one of my arsenals is an actual valve cut in any diameter I want it to 188 190 150 160 to start getting a contour and a roundness that you can take here and using the light it's going to shine through and tell you how round that you're getting the bowl that's one of my tricks thought I'd give that to you I'm in a good mood today kind of all right anyway let me go ahead and, and finish this part up then we'll do the valve test and, and after I get through cutting